This week we've got something from the UK. It's uh, It's been around since 1922. According to the label here, it's 100 years of bringing out the Branston. That's right. Branston Pickle. It's the original pickle, according to this. I don't know what the unoriginal might be, or maybe they've got a few other flavors or so, but there we go. Original pickle. So I've heard about this for a long time. I've heard that it's good. Good, of course, being, I feel, a subjective term, but we'll we'll make the best of that. We, uh, I've never tried this. I've never tried Branston Pickle. I, it's some sort of relish based on what's in there. Can you see what's in there? I can't. Uh, let's see. Vegetables in variable proportions. Ooh, carrot, rutabaga, onion, cauliflower. There's some sugar, some barley malt, vinegars, a uh, number of colors and things. Ooh, there is an allergy advice there. Advice, don't be allergic to things. But there it is, Branston Pickle. Let's give this a try and see what, what comes of it. Ooh, the pop means it's fresh. Giving that a sniff. It's got a very spicy, tangy smell to it. Kind of on a sweet side. Like a... Like a tangy, tomatoey, molasses type of sense about it. It's very brown and chunky in there. It's not terribly appetizing looking, but that doesn't mean a whole lot. What's going to mean a lot is the taste. I've got a spoon. Let's give this just a... Oh boy, this is, this is dense. You see this? It's very dense, very thick. All right, let's give this just a taste on its own, and we'll see see what it's like. Hmm. Well, that's quite good. It's got a good chew to it, which I like. It's got a lot of warm spices to it. Ooh. And it's got a very vinegary hangy kick. But I don't imagine you're supposed to eat this on its own. Let's uh let's give it a whirl with some bread and cheese. See how that fares. Alright. So we've made a bit of an open-faced treat here. I've got bologna and cheese, because who knows, this whole taste might have been bologna, but so far I'm digging it. Let's see uh, all together. I will say this does not spread. It more just kind of blops. It's very thick, large chunks of, of the fruit and veggie, or I guess veg in there, not really fruits, uh, in there. It doesn't really, doesn't really spread around, just more to just kind of chunk onto the bread. Still, though, it looks all right. Let's give that a whirl. Oh, yeah. That's really good. It helps kind of dampen down some of the some of the tang of the, the vinegar. As, as you would imagine, bread would. Well, that's all right. Well, actually, some proper meat and cheese would probably be even better. But who doesn't love bologna? If you don't, that's bologna. Overall, I'm going to say Branston Pickle is two thumbs up. That's right. That's how good that was. I wasn't sure if I was going to want to eat the entirety of that jar, but that's something going to find a home in my belly. Maybe you'd like it. You can try it out. I found it at the uh, Cost Plus for, I don't want to say it's like, I don't know, maybe four bucks, four or five bucks, something like that. Uh, you might be able to find it cheaper somewhere. I I've never seen it anywhere else except there. So maybe you've got a UK market somewhere near you that might carry that, but that's the Branston Pickle. That's a, that's a winner in my book for sure. Thanks for watching.